Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations and I'm here with a flip through of my French inspired journal called Sojourn. And a sojourn is simply a short trip that you take to visit somewhere or you go to visit a place. And so this would not be an entire life's journal um, unless you chose to make it that, but this is just a great journal and it is very French inspired. I have genuine French antique pieces in this. Um, I started out and I bought actually both of these pieces. No, I got this piece of fabric at Walmart and it comes white and black. And this was actually some scrap that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I coffee dyed both of these. And so you can see this is fabric covered. I left the fabric a little bit wrinkly to give it more of that old antique look. Uh, there's fabric, there's lace, I put a pin with an Eiffel Tower-ish kind of dangle on it. This is Tim Holtz. And then this is just really cool. I coffee dyed some things like uh, index cards. And this is actually how it turned out on the index card. So I put it there and although I'm calling this Sojourn, whoever gets it can put their name or, or whatever they would like there, or just leave it blank. So let me explain a little bit about what this journal is about. I created this journal and it is actually for our booster club. I am a member of the booster club for a very small school. And when I say small country school, I mean small. We're about 200 students, pre-K through 12. And we're hosting an online and silent auction so below I will post the links if you're interested in purchasing this. It will, the bidding will be open until mid-April. I'll have all that information below. So let's get started and take a look at this. Um, this is black grow grain ribbon and believe it or not I get this from my pizza crust. I buy a pizza crust that comes with black grow grain ribbon on that ties it shut, ties the bag shut. So, of course, being a junk journal, nothing goes to waste, and I use that. Inside, you will find that it has five signatures, and it is 140 pages total. I have put a Tim Holtz paper in the front and the back. This was already so chunky, I chose not to put any um, pockets on the front or the back, and you'll see what I mean by chunky here in a minute. I also coffee dyed a lot of paper from a particular paper pad. This is all from the Paper Studios Newsworthy paper pad. And I also have a ton of printables in this. Mostly are from the old design shops. So that is just awesome. I love her stuff. I have lots of tucks and places and things that are tucked in. So for example, um, I This was a um, printout that I did that I've mounted to a index card, like a 3x5 index card, and then I punched the corners, and so you still have the lines on the back. This is Tim Holtz. This is just some of his paper. And then I have several of these printouts that are kind of like receipts, and they're all French. So, of course, keeping with the French theme, there is plenty of writing space in this and you can write on the backs of things, things like that. So coffee dyed paper, I did some stenciling, so you'll see some of that using a Tim Holtz stencil. This is an index card and then this is the first genuine piece of French ephemera. So I have several, every signature has one piece that is genuine French antiques. This is from like the 20s, 30s, 1920s, 1930s. I have several pockets in here. These are double pockets um, that I made and so this is definitely from the old design shop. I love these. So this is just a tag you can write on the back. I also have another one of these cards in there. It says postcard. And then these are from Tim Holtz again and they're tucked into the front. Let's see if I can get that down in there. Um, I also had some French stamps and so I stamped on paper and glued them to different pieces in here. So you will see lots of that. Um, 
And then again, here's that French ephemera and the index card. Here's some more that I um, put in here. Another card, this is just a journaling card. This is a tag that I made. And this is, again, it's a check that is French. And so everything is very French in here. I did a little bit of sewing, but not a lot. And I left the tails, so if anyone wants to cut them off, of course they can. Um, this, I believe, is also from the old design shop, and this is as well. I thought this was really pretty, and I just made a little tuck spot here. Lots and lots of tuck spots, and yet lots and lots of writing space. So if you pulled all of this out, you still have all of this to write in as well. So just a little bit more of this ephemera is in here. And we'll keep moving right through this. I have a doily. Um, this is another piece of that genuine French ephemera that I have in here, and that's that stamp as well. So those are in here. I love this. So this is all from that Newsworthy, and it is all coffee dyed. Everything has been coffee dyed. Even this is coffee dyed, even though it doesn't really look like it. It was. Um, I love the crowns, very French, very Parisian. So again, another receipt um, that I had. And I, everything is just held in with regular old paper clips. I didn't realize this, but paper clips were actually invented in the late 1800s. So when you're looking for vintage, we think of paper clips as very modern things, but they've actually been around a very long time. So this is another beautiful journaling card that I have and more French receipts. And of course you can journal on the backs of these. That's partially why I include these. So you're not just limited to journaling on your pages in a junk journal. There's lots of places to journal. This is some vintage French uh, 1930s, I believe, um, music which I love. Here's another one of those pockets with a variety of different journaling cards. Of course, you can journal on the back, I believe. Oop, I had that upside down. That, there and there, and you can journal on the backs of all of those. These you can't really journal on, but I just like them, and you could reuse them or glue them to another page to decorate it. So I have, like I said, this was a pretty packed journal to begin with. This is the center of the book and when you get to the middle um, you will find I put I left the tail long on the inside and I have a heart and a crown. Let me get that up there. There we go. A heart and a crown tied to the center strings and they just hang off in the middle there and dangle down. I have some of these I left blank, so there's just another tuck spot or a flip out where you can write things. Uh, graph paper, more music paper. I actually tucked some stuff into this music paper. More of the tags and journaling cards and another French uh, receipt. So uh, again, lots and lots and lots of journaling space in here and just lots of coffee dye paper. I love how this turns out. I actually, when I coffee dye, this is another French piece of ephemera. When I coffee dye, I just lay everything out and let it dry naturally. So this is Tim Holtz and another journaling card. And of course, if you know me, you know that I always have to include uh, tissue paper. I just love the sound that it makes. And then more stenciling. And then more tissue paper, of course. And more of that French ephemera. And then th these are a few more journal cards. Sometimes it's a little bit tough to get these off if you've got it over lace. There we go. So again, another piece of Tim Holtz, another journaling card, and another journaling tag, if you will. Lots and lots of space. And then we're almost to the end. We have a few more pages in here. You can see this is my last signature. Another one of these pockets. This one actually is a French 
letter. Um, I haven't actually ha taken the time to read it and translate it, but it is a French letter and you can of course write on the back of it as well. And then a journaling card and two more Tim Holtz pieces are in here as well. I love the crown and this was a, a stamp set, a Prima stamp set that I got. So I stamped it and then cut around it and I used a, a hole punch to actually cut those rounded corners. It worked out beautifully. Um, I just have some regular paper in here, um, more of these receipts. So Tim Holtz, another crown card and another receipt is in here. Like I said, I really stuffed this full. More of that French ephemera. And so you will see that all the way throughout. Uh, I love this Eiffel Tower. And this is that stamp that I have. More of the stenciling. More of, again, these are just tucked in here so you can write on this page, pull this out. Another, this is the crown card, so another crown card, another tag, and the last of the, I think this is the last, I may have one more of these um, receipts, and again, I got all of this from the old design shop. Much of this is free on her website. I did also go and grab a, uh, a kit from her, from her Etsy shop. She has both an Etsy shop and a, a blog so I will post a link for the old design shop down below if you are interested in purchasing this I also have the link below to our online bidding site and you can take a look over there if you would like to go ahead and purchase this but in the end I hope I've encouraged you to be creative today and to maybe get out and craft